to Val. Okay, so we have some people on. <laughs> so I was driving and I look to the right and I see these two girls on the side of the road with, <laughs> with these signs, right? They're like, San Francisco, look, north. They're going, they like, <laughs> so I'm like, hold on. Are they hitchhiking? And they had their thumbs up. So I was like, all right, I guess they are hitchhiking. So I passed them, right, because of all the stories that go on. You know, I don't know them. They could be murderers. What if they hurt me? <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? Don't you do this. Don't you go places where you don't know anyone and you need support and you need help and guidance. And sometimes you're out there and you need a ride. So I turned around and I screamed across the street and I was like, I came back to get you guys. And they were like, really? And they pack up all the stuff, you see? <laughs> they, they packed up the car with all the stuff. And now we pulled over to park because I thought it was cool and I wanted to hear their story. So, how did you get here? Where are you from? What's your name? <laughs> okay, so I'm Sophie. I'm from Quebec, Canada. And I checked all the way Montreal to British Columbia. And we worked a little bit there and then we were working together so we decided to hitchhike all the way here to California. Wow, so where do you guys work? Uh, we do cherry picking. Nice. Mm, cherry picking. So, cherry picking. Yeah. My name is Emily and my story is almost the same as her, Sophie. So yeah, I just decided to hitchhike on all the west coast of, uh, of California. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. And now we're here. <laughs> and now they're here in my car. What are the odds? <laughs> so. How, like, did you actually hitchhike all the way here from Canada? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Montreal. Yeah. Oh, wow. I started in Montreal, and we got seven rides, and then I got a, a ride that picked us up for three days, so he brought us exactly where I wanted, so that was really cool. That was really easy, that one. <laughs> right. <laughs> three days, someone picked them up and took them where they wanted. It was wanted. a trucker. It was a trucker. So we Were you afraid of that? Absolutely not. That was a really a nice experience. We had a bunk bed, so we could all sleep. Um, uh, we had a TV, so we could watch t uh, movies before we go to bed. We had a fridge and everything. We partied together. We went into the bars. Uh, that was really nice. <laughs> yeah, that was a good experience. Oh, whatever. Don't listen to these people. Okay, so um, <laughs> some of them. Do you guys have any questions for them? Um, where are you guys going next? Uh, we're going to San Francisco and uh, the 11th of August I'm going in Australia and then I'll see but For myself I'm going back in, Ke in Quebec City mm -hmm. for my university so I'm gonna uh -huh. yeah. For school what are you yeah. studying? I'm studying um, I'm doing like a bachelor mm -hmm. in visible arts Ooh, yeah. so you're an artist? Yeah I kind of <laughs> Kind of Kind of <laughs> So so you said I don't I don't know what that says, but it's another language. <laughs> um, so now you're going to San Francisco. You don't know how you're getting there. We have to get to be there tonight. Yeah. So they have to be in San Francisco tonight, guys, and they don't know how they're getting there. Um, I think they're gonna get picked up by someone else um, because. You know, I gotta keep going. I'm not going to San Francisco, but I thought it was really cool that they that they trusted people enough to even stand out there with all their stuff and like need help. Um, how how did you guys stay out here? Like, how long were you in California, and where did you guys stay? And oh, we were in California, I think, for maybe a week and a half, but we stayed in uh, Santa Rosa for in a couch surfing. We we stayed in a van too by a hippie that picked us up she's from california and she mm -hmm. picked us up on the road we were like five in the in the van that was a, a perfect hippie event we were three days with them uh, yeah. that was really cool and then we had a ride in santa barbara that uh, picked us up so we, we could sleep at his place yeah. too wow. in a really beautiful place with the view on the ocean and wow. here uh, in uh, LA, a man picked us up in Ventura and he just uh, told us that he has a guest house yeah. that where we can, can live in for the week instead of going for yeah. our culture thing in Cover City. So that wow. was an insane adventure. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. 
That was a really yeah. good gift. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's living the alchemist, guys. I can't I can't imagine living the alchemist being anything else <laughs> besides what they just did. Um they took risks, they packed their stuff up. They threw their backpacks on and they trusted that the universe was going to give them the shelter, the food, the transportation, and the people that are on their vibration, that are in, in their circle, in their community, and willing to help them. So the message is trust, guys, because look, even me, I had to exercise trust. They had to exercise trust and faith. So with everything that you do in life, know that you are taken care of. You just have to take the risk. And if they can hitchhike all the way from Canada and be safe and be taken care of and sleep in guest house in Malibu and hippie vans and... Um, uh, he said, are, are you from Sp Spain? No, no. From Canada. Canada. Quebec. <laughs> Quebec. French We're French Canadians. Yeah. They're French Canadians, guys. <laughs> French Canadians. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that every day is a day for exploration. Um, every day is a day to take risks. And every day is living the alchemist. Even when you're in your hometown, look for people like them who are taking risks. Oh, you're from Spain. Okay. Hey, how are you guys doing? Thank you. Um, yeah, take risks, guys. Um, step out of your comfort zone, stretch, and do something wild and crazy, and be safe because that's key as well. So I'm sure, I'm sure there were maybe some people that came around that you were like, no, you know, it's okay. I don't know. But, or maybe they were vibrating at such a high frequency that only the people that stopped were on their level. So remember you can do anything you set your mind to you just have to do it thank you guys and i will be posting this video reposting this video on living the alchemist the facebook page so visit living the alchemist facebook page i will also be posting the video on living the alchemist dot com living the alchemist dot com and you can look at pictures on our instagram living the alchemist i love you guys say bye thank bye -bye. you <laughs> until bye. next time as they complete their journey <laughs> bye guys <laughs>